haven't made a video for a while for my shop at least I make other videos about political shit and other stuff going on in the world but most of them go on rumble I'll put this on YouTube anyways this is Bert at B&B Power Sports uh, this is my new shop I don't know if I made it yeah I think I've made a couple videos since I've been here but it's been a long time been probably a year at least but uh just gonna give you a look around show around my shop here it's a pretty decent size shop uh, 25 by 40 I believe it is and that's our house five bedroom log house we got five acres of land we got some chickens going on up there but there is my shop and as you can see, I have a lot of projects on the go. Way too many. Not enough time to finish them all. <laughs> that one there is just about done. 2002 YZ F426. It runs great once you get it started. But man, these things are a pain in the ass to start. It's pre-auto decompression cam. The, from 98 to 02, they had the 400 and then the 426. And they have these stupid manual decompression lever on them. It's kind of an old school design. Like the old big Bohr Honda XRs had them and shit back in the day. And they put them into these modern-ish four-stroke race bikes. And it's just a dumb setup. And they flood out way too easily also. Uh, basically, if you don't start it in the first kick or two, it's flooded. <laughs> It's a pain in the ass. You got to do it just right. You got to use this Push this in kick it over a couple times with no compression and then let it off find top dead center To where it starts to get hard push this in get just past top dead center Bring the kicker back up and Then give it one good kick and then you got to start over again if it doesn't start It's quite the process if you do it just perfect, it'll start first or second kick usually. But then if it doesn't, it floods out. And then you got to hold that in and kick it over with it wide open a whole bunch of times and dry out the engine and then start over again. It's, I don't know. I really don't like these bikes. They're fun. Like, it's when it is running, it rips. This thing is fast and powerful. But just not my forte. And there's my bike. She's all muddy. I've been out getting her dirty. She ain't brand new no more. My 2019 KTM 450 EXCF. She's getting up there in hours. Oh yeah, my battery died at one point and I have this code that comes up, an error code. I don't know how to get rid of it. Normally if you just turn the key on, it'll come up with your hours and shit, but mine doesn't until you start moving. Yamaha Warrior 350. She's a runner, but it's got backfiring issues. I've been messing with the timing and the carb, and I have a sneaky suspicion it's got a valve that doesn't seal 100%, which is weird because I did a compression test, and it was like 180, I think, PSI. So you'd think if it was leaking compression, it would be shitty compression, but I don't know. I'm confused on it. I kind of put it off to the side for a bit. There's an 04 Yamaha YFZ450 race quad. Uh... It was a runner, but it locked up, and I'm pretty sure it's the rod bearing. I got a new crank to put in it, but I haven't started it yet. Here's a couple old Hondas. That's just a little 250 two-wheel drive. That's a 350 four-wheel drive with the electronic shift. And a couple KTMs. This one's actually kind of nice. It's an 04 uh, SX200 two-stroke. Kind of a rare one. And that one's an 07 450. I got to do uh, replace the head and cam and shit on it. It got ran low in oil and did some damage. This one, one of the transmission gears broke, but I have it on order and it's coming. That's at a little TTR 230 back there. I need an exhaust for it. I ordered one on eBay and they sent me the wrong goddamn one and pissed me off. That's an 07 RMZ 450. It's a clusterfuck. I uh, put a lot of money and time and work into it, and it's still got some issues. I got a, I think I got to replace the one case half. It's got some damage on the idler gear for the kickstart. Common issue with those ones. They kick back, and then the, the kicker binds up. Oh, shit. 
Oh, I thought my camera died, but it is about to. Battery's getting pretty low. But anyway, as you can see, lots of parts and lots of projects. Got motors on this bench here. Polaris 850 with a stupid design. The cylinders are part of the cases, and this one is toast, as you can see. A ring broke and damaged it. The rest of the machine's over there. Ah, uh, 500 Sportsman motor. Got a bunch of sled motors. All kinds of shit going on. This is a rebuilt ski 800 r P-Tech motor. New crank and cylinders. It's going to go into a machine in the fall. More parts. Stuff I've ordered. Oh yeah, this is for my tractor. Uh, stripped out the gear on the governor. Which also runs the alternator and the cam gear. It rides off the cam gear. And the cam gear is damaged too. So I stripped it all apart. Ordered that stuff. Waiting for it to come. Yeah, my camera might just die anytime now. But anyways, there's a little Polaris 90 two-stroke. It runs great, but it needs front brake work and a seat cover. That's a customer's bike. A little Chinese Ching Ching Chow 250 dual sport. But it is road legal. It's actually kind of cool, I guess. And then I got a shed full of bikes over here. A little PW80. A CRF 450, which runs but smokes. I got to do the rings on it. 07 RMZ 250 that runs great, but the header pipe's broken. I'm waiting on that to come in. That's a 92 XR 600 four-stroke, big old thumper. It runs pretty good. Not perfect, but it once it warms up, it runs good. I had to replace the cam and do a bunch of work to it. Once it, it gets warm, it's actually it's a ripper, man. It goes. And my buddy's 93 YZ 250 uh, 06 CRF 250 that I got to do a bottom end rebuild. That's just an old Honda XL 125. It runs but smokes. As you can see, I got lots of parts in here. It just keeps going. I got two 20 foot tarp sheds put together into one. <laughs> More junk back there. I got a Terra Jet, which isn't mine, but Sea Dew. And I got another Sea Dew down there. It's a, a 900, I believe, two seater. And there's my old beater truck. Runs and drives mint, man. 200,000K on it, but she's rusty, as you can see. You got some rust, even on the door of all places. But it's a good, solid old truck, though. So, yeah. Side by side that I got to replace the transmission in. It was a driver, runner, but my kids rat bagged the shit out of it. Now it barely moves. Transmission pops out of gear. Yeah, there's the tractor. So, yeah, there's an update on what I'm working on. A little bit of everything. I don't get days off. Every day, all day. But I'm not really complaining. What's that old saying? If you uh, find a job you enjoy doing, you never work another day in your life. Well, I don't even have to leave home to work. <laughs> I walk from the house over there with my coffee in my hand. Come into here and just tinker on shit all day. Oh yeah, on this bike, I can't forget it started the video on it it's a completely rebuilt restored 2001 honda cr 125 two-stroke it was stripped right to the frame frame was polished and i'm putting it all back together new plastics new everything like it's just gonna be an all new bike she's gonna be nice i'm just waiting on the new plated cylinder to show up it's taking forever but there you go <clears throat> i'm watching some videos about restoring old tractors and shit it's kind of my new thing now so yeah B&B &B Power Sports. Yeah.